Welcome back to Fear 2. Let's go shoot some dudes in the face. And probably some monsters, too. If the monsters even have faces. Sometimes monsters don't. Because they're monsters. Not going in that way. Or are we? Nope. Hello. Guess we're not getting in that way. There has to be another way in. I think I found it. Step back for a second. <laughs> Got it. We're good. Wait, what? Okay, who manufactured this lock? Keep looking. Because we have to get inside. I want to use them for every lock I ever use. <laughs> this is the gold standard. Keegan, we're heading inside the school. Roger that, Lieutenant. I'm approaching the building from the south. Good. Stay sharp. Armacam Elementary School. Bluebirds, ladybugs, maybe reading levels or something. Can't wait for the screams of tortured children's souls echoing through the hallways. Dear Mr. U.S. history. Writing with Doug W. Workbook. World geography. 101 dogs. Rainbow math. Hold up, my comp is crapping out. Never mind, I'm good. I think this is a shotgun place. Yeah. <laughs> that sounds so 80s. This belongs in Fallout. Looks like someone is having trouble controlling their and don't worry. Help is just down the hallway. Many problems are easily resolved by taking a small trip to your friendly nurse station. Oh, there's a doctor now. Hi, I want to experiment on you. I've got another one for you. Once at the nurse station door, don't forget to put all metallic objects into the bowl. And remove your shoes. Then it's inside for some readjustment. <laughs> readjustment. Oh my god. It's hard to tell if the damage is from the explosion or a firefight. I'm guessing both. I'm guessing from psychic activity. Armacam, we're on the right track. I wonder if I could make that jump. I feel like I can. Let's find out. Oh, okay, or, or I can not jump. That's cool too. Oh, you can't really jump when you're sprinting. That's weird. Ugh. 
All right, forget it. You're probably not supposed to go there. You might be able to, but I don't think you're supposed to. Fuck the world. I've never seen such beautiful playing in my life. Oh. He's not too happy about it. Stop resurrecting people. the shotgun is the best idea for him because he has like a AOE attack like this big pulse that comes out of him and his melee attack there just did like it just took out my entire armor the door? Oh, right. So cute. Little Alma. Some sort of ninja killing a kid or a teacher.
flashlight doesn't work at all anymore. Okay, that section was pretty damn cool. How did that miss? And to think, I was actually considering getting rid of the sniper rifle because I was only facing monsters. I will never consider that, consider that again because the sniper rifle is freaking awesome. One hit kill. Beautiful. Ooh, rocket launcher. Peekaboo! Peekaboo! Okay, if they're giving me a rocket launcher, then I'm gonna be facing something big. Probably another one of those huge dudes. Just on the ruptured gas line. Or I could just walk through it. Oh wait, that causes horrible scalding and fourth degree burns and death? Oh. Well, if this was Mirror's Edge, I would do a wall run here and jump up there, but it's not. I just saw a chopper go down. Whose was it? Not sure, but I doubt it was friendly. I guess I shut it down from outside. Or pull the fire alarm? Oh. Gotcha. It doesn't know where I am. Now it does. Don't destroy 
destroy the pillar, don't destroy the pillar, don't destroy the pillar. Wait, did I blow it up? Ah, I blew it up. Ah, I think I see a ramp here, do I? Yes. You're fine. Memo, Monday. Right, I'm on my way. Rendezvous with Lieutenant Stokes and Sergeant Keegan. Okay, sure. Go play skill, people. Gotcha. Secrets over here. Because that's probably where I'm supposed to go, so what's over here? Invincible. Also, he's very dumb. Just a dead end. That can't be right. Sandwich time. Cool cat mix sandwich. What's the point of this place? Come here, get shot at, collect armor. Oh, it's to go here, isn't it? Enemy contact. Let me up. I guess I don't go there. Okay, I should probably avoid the blades of that thing, right? I'm thinking instant death. Crispy. That for a med kit that I don't even need. Oh wait, maybe I needed to go here. Hi. Hey, nice of you to join us. Beckett. Kagan, what's wrong? Yeah, not a. 
What's happening? Ah! Oh, he's dead. Armor Cam Black Ops teams are fighting replica forces that appear to be converging on the Kagan? No! Shit. Beckett, I'm glad you're okay. I've gotta get Keegan back to the APC. Beckett, this snake fist guy may be our best shot of getting out of this. Do what you can to bring him out alive. Oh, poor Keegan. Look at him. You better get going. He's in his own private nightmare with Alma, fighting her with QTEs. I hope your fingers never get tired, Keegan. Keep fighting the good fight. Yes, I will. Black. There's just random, just random canisters of gas, explosive gas canisters just thrown, strewn across the ground. How unsafe. How coincidence. Co how coincidental. Very coincidental. Locked. Third dude? Oh, there he is. Okay, he's gone. Holy shit! I can't believe how useless that grenade was. They really don't have a large explosion radius. It seems like you pretty much have to cook them if you really want them to explode near the enemies, otherwise they'll just run away before it explodes. They've all got submachine guns. Secrets? No secrets. Ah! <gasps> Did you hear that? Listen again. Do you know what that is? That's the penetrator. Oh, it makes a return. Yes, I must use it. I want it so bad. Thank you for yelling all of your tactical plans! 
I am going to pop out in slow motion and shoot you in the head after throwing an incendiary grenade. This is a lot of really hard dudes to take three freaking headshots. Alright. wonky line in the distance up there in the sky. You see it? It shifts around depending on where I'm looking. Weird. Does this thing spin? Please tell me it spins. It does spin. Just not with me on it. Oh, they're calling it the Hammerhead instead of the Penetrator. I guess the old name was too... sexual or something. Um... Oh shit though, what do I replace with it? I love the Assault Rifle, it's so good. I love the Sniper Rifle too. Well, you know what, I only have one shot of the Sniper Rifle, so I might as well just toss it. For now. This time it actually has a scope. The old penetrator did not. No scope whatsoever. Alright, quite a bit of ammo. It's got kind of a reflex scope, I guess you could call it. One that doesn't zoom in, really. The view zooms in, but the scope itself doesn't zoom. I'm assuming it's extremely accurate. Yes, it is. Nice. Oh, they even glow now. That's so cool. Alright, where am I going? This thing's not as accurate as I thought. Maybe I have to crouch. Oh god. Okay, that's a little bit worrying. I think they may have ruined the penetrator. Ah, uh, maybe not. It looks like three shots to the chest or two shots to the head to kill him. Seems like I kind of have to crouch, though, which is weird. I don't remember if I had to crouch before.
but uh, I'll try to crouch more. Unit three is down and out. Hurry up and seal the door. Almost done. Why is there blood in the toilet? Ew. There's blood in all the toilets. Well, two of the toilets. Ah, uh, the classic hole in the wall in the bathroom. This... Assignment. We are all special in some way. Write down how you... Got skeletonized. Good job, Alma. On down.
Oh, you're above me. Hi. Yeah, so it looks like if you're not crouched, you should probably just aim for their center of mass, rather than their head. hear the shot, but I think he blasted me with a shotgun. I was hoping I was, I mean, I was pumping rounds into him. I thought I was stunning him enough that he wouldn't hit me. Oh my god, I guess I wasn't stunning enough to distract him. Stick around. And that guy kept shooting his gun after death for like two seconds. Wow, that's impressive. guy that killed me before, I think. Yeah, so it seems like the function of the... I'm just gonna call it the penetrator. It seems like the function of the penetrator has actually changed a bit. Despite the fact that it has a scope now, when it didn't have a scope before, it's actually not good for extremely long ranges. Even when I'm crouching and shooting for people's heads, is still a little bit inaccurate. So it's actually only good for medium to close range. Actually, you know, it's not even good for close range. Because of the time between uh, firing shots, it's actually not very good for close range. 
As we saw with that shotgun dude who still managed to shoot me despite the fact that I was pumping rounds into him. Or wait a minute. No, wait, I think I was shooting that guy with an assault rifle. Well, never mind about that, but yeah, I don't think it's very good for close range. And it's not very good for long range, because it's not that accurate. But it's good for medium range, like, like this. This is where it excels. Although I feel like it doesn't really excel all that much more than the assault rifle does. It's a little bit quicker. Two shots to the head kills him. It's maybe, maybe a little bit quicker than the assault rifle, but... Yeah, I don't know, it just doesn't feel as special as it did in the original. I mean, it looks cooler, it sounds cooler, but functionally, it seems kind of superfluous. That's a big-ass spoon. Something's actually going on here. I think I should have read that. Look, this is marked Ladybug, and that's marked Bluebird. Hold on, this might be what... I, I want to read that. Instructions for the use of supplements. Do not add supplements to foods until cooled to avoid premature breakdown of active ingredients. Supplements are best added to foods with a strong taste. If students begin to hyperventilate or projectile vomit after ingesting supplements, decrease dosage. See, I knew! It's fucking Armacam. They're running in elementary school. Of course they're going to be experimenting on the kids. Active ingredients. The ladybugs are PN5A. The tree frogs are PN5B. And the bluebirds are PN5P. Ah. So they had different groups. 10 milligrams per serving. Secondary fillers. Standard vitamin mineral compounds. <laughs> it's about to get cold in here. Yeah, these monsters are actually really cool looking. Like, I just love the effects. It looks so... It just looks so cool. And it makes it hard to tell where they actually are, which I like. It makes them extra creepy. Just like this cloud of ethereal mist. really doing the find a way to shut off the gas valve thing again? Isn't that like the second or third time they've done it? Come on. You can be more creative than that. Of course.
Well, I think I'm going to end this episode here, actually. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far, and I'll be back soon.